Este, apenas vamos a, aquí llegando al primer punto y miren la manera en la que empezamos este este show con, con nuestro buen amigo Steve primeras dos capturas las dos al mismo tiempo y miren la calidad de estas capturas <risa> oh that's it <risa> oh yeah no problem oh, oh, adiós yeah. amiga Bien sanitas, esto lo digo. Ahí se fue. Bueno amigos, así tan, tan emocionante empezamos este show. Este, bueno, vamos a empezar de una manera diferente. Estamos nada más y nada menos que en la presa Comedero, aquí cerca de, de la comunidad de Cozalá, en, en el estado de Sinaloa. Estamos obviamente en este campo de, de nuestro buen amigo Ron Speed Jr. y es, estamos en este programa. Nada más y nada menos que nuestro buen amigo Steve Parks. Lugo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful for you to be here. Yes. Uh, it's wonderful for you to be here. I've been able to fish with Ron Speed Jr. for yes. for three years now. Perfect. And this is the most beautiful lake I've ever seen for big bass and yes. a lot of big fish. Well, uh, every time you told me about this lake, yeah. I say, well. Maybe, yes. Yeah. Maybe no. But well, maybe you get to fish. Yeah. <laughs> but now that, that I'm here, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I checked the, what, what did you say about this lake, and, and, and it's wonderful. Yeah. I just make four casts and, and count and my, fish, fish. my yeah. first big fish. And double up. Double up, yes. Yeah. And, and, well, let's make a, 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 let's make a good fish now. Okay. And, and we're just starting. We're going to catch some more with the spinnerbait, and then later on, we're probably going to catch a lot on jigs. Okay, perfect. Now okay. we're using the all this, this is, this is, yeah, this is the Odom, Odom. That's the Odom Lure spinnerbait. And this is one ounce. We're one using ounce. it because we're going over a bunch of deep brush. Okay. We are using the, the one ounce spinnerbait, and we are... Uh, the trailer? I'm using the, the red streamer as a trailer. We are using chartreuse white uh, spinner blade and I'm using the, the gold blade. The, well, the gold, big gold blade. Big gold blade that has real gold in it. Yes, yes it is. And gold the, plated. This this is the difference from this spinner blade against the other spinner blades on the market. Oh uh, there's there's not a better big spinner blade in the world than the Odom okay, spinner blade. Perfect. Now now this is the best big fish spinner blade ever. Yes, and now, uh, now I'm testing for the first time and well what a way to, <laughs> to test this lead. So let's uh, catch some other Okay, fish. let's okay, go. Thanks. Well, there's two of the fish. Okay. 
see, yesterday, yesterday I was fishing here. Yeah. And I told Odom, I said, Odom, this is spinnerbait country. And he goes, you think? And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> I said, man, I said, cause late yesterday evening, I saw the fish start chasing tilapia pie, pie, okay. pie, pie, in the evening. And I said, oh yeah, this is going to be spinnerbait. They, I said, they, 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 they trade it here, they, they don't move too much. No, they don't move. No, they don't need hey, to move. Here's the thing about big fish. When they got food, they got cover. Yeah. This is La Casa. They have food, they have cover, and they have deep water. They have they shallow, they have deep. They have shallow, they have deep. They can spawn, they can live, they can eat. That's the way, they don't move much. That's the Walmart, right here. This is the biggest, this is a good Walmart. Yes. And on Commodore, there are many Walmarts. Yeah. <laughs> there are thousands of Walmarts on yeah, Commodore. Okay. Now, Edgar. Yes. Because I love you and you're like my son. Okay. My, one of my Mexican sons. <laughs> I'm going to give you first shots. Because I'm going to make the ba boat go backwards like this. Okay. You follow me? Yes. When we're fishing in the wind, instead of covering the water too fast by going with the wind, we will cover the water slowly by holding the boat like this. Against the wind. Against the wind and then let it, just let it drift back, drift back, drift back. Perfect. Like this. It's much better to cover like that. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Oh, it's because you're a good guy. Another fish right here. Oh, he was biting. Right there. Big fish, maybe. Could we get hung in the trees? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come oh, on. Oh, Come on. Oh, that's a good one. Come on. It's your turn, Edgar. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another good one. Yes. Not, not as big as the other one, oh. but it's good. Oh, I got you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. You take care of the old man, huh? Yeah, hey, yeah, I need huh? to. <laughs> oh, man. Yikes. This area, let me put this baby back in. The area that we're fishing is um, is a big island okay. in the middle of the river, and the these deep trees right around here. There's so much food, so many tilapia come up here and feed early in the morning, late in the evening. Okay. And so yesterday evening, I'm coming by this, and I see all the tilapia, and I said, "Oh, this is going to be a good spot for spinnerbait." Yes. Now so, we're checking. Yeah, and this is way up the river. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh. 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 Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Junior. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Oh, here he is. This is a big one. Yeah. This is a big one. It's a big one. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh I got you. Oh. <laughs> look at look at the belly on yes. that. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> now I'm gonna run to the This is good, buddy. I, I, I love, love this lake. lake. Oh, I love this lake now. <laughs> <laughs> look at that! Look at the belly on her. Yes. Belly. They're getting ready to spawn. They're getting ready for spawning. Okay. Yeah. And, and what what uh, they are doing now? Right now they're feeding up. They're coming out of the deep water. It's 70, 80 foot right there. They're coming out of the deep water to come up here and eat okay. in the morning. But you can see she's full of eggs. Yes. Another good one. Let's release it. Yeah, let her go. <laughs> oh, no. You want to jump? Yeah, jump. Adios, <laughs> mi amiga. Mi amore. <laughs> Beautiful. Así que... 
¿Qué más? Pruebas que eran amigos para venir a esta grandiosa presa. Yo no tenía el gusto de conocerla. Había escuchado muy buenas eh, pláticas acerca de esta presa a, 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 eh, por parte de Steve, por parte de Ron, por parte de Terry Orham, que, que tienen ya ahorita tres años viniendo a esta presa, la habían dejado descansar. Entonces, ya se reactivó la pesca aquí, ya se, se abrió otra vez el campo, ya tienen eh, tres años funcionando ahora. Entonces, no lo ven tantito, aquí están los datos en, en pantalla para que vengan y saquen estas grandiosas lobinas que ya vieron la, la calidad, ya vieron la pelea que dan y, la, y el tipo de pesca que se hace aquí, pues está excelente, o sea, estás tirando adentro de, lo, de los árboles con, con spinners, líneas trenzadas, líneas flores de 25 libras, necesitas un buen equipo para poder hacer este tipo de pesca, pero pues aquí está ya la presa y aquí está el campo, they have everything to come everything, here, everything, fish, total. Good lodge, good yeah, food, for sure. Everything, good service. Yes, and one of the things that, that that Ron Speed Jr. does that nobody else does in all of Mexico is he gets people, the pros like myself and Terry yes. Odom, to come down. We find fish, we find patterns, we find the the type of areas that the yes. fish are supposed to be on. We help the clients to know exactly where to fish so that the guides can bring them to the places. Oh, that's it. It's yeah, you, you need to need, and need and anything else. You just need to come. That's right. Your fish and we've already stuff. found the fish. Oh, oh no, 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 no. It's yeah. easy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continue Continue and tell them. <laughs> Continue, amigos. James Bradshaw. I'm from Virginia, United States. First time. My friend Tony and Kurt, they came here last year. So they were very excited with the trip and they uh, they invited me this year and I couldn't pass it. Fantastic. The food, they, they feed you so much food. Um, the accommodation is very nice. The transportation. You don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about anything other than just fishing. So I come here, they take care of me. Fabulous. Miren nada más, wow. qué buena, buena lobinota. Oh man, it's full of tilapia. Yeah, full of tilapia <laughs> and eggs. Yeah. Yes. Hey, let me see. Oh. Let me see the fish. Go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Oh man. Oh man. Five as uh, twelve pounder. Twelve. I thought, I thought eleven. Uh, it's eleven. Eleven, 11 twelve. twelve. Eleven twelve. Eleven pound, twelve ounces. Well, that's what you get when you come to Commodoro. Oh man, it's beautiful fish just like this. Yes. Run speed adventure is, is the best. And, you know, we catch these fish a lot. 
This is the best lake I've ever seen in my life. You know, I get to fish a lot of good lakes. Yeah, yes, I know. But and, uh, beautiful fish. This lake is awesome. It's beautiful. Yes. Okay, let's let her go. Let's let her go. Bye bye. How's that, boy? Oh, <laughs> well, Steve, we caught. Well, you caught a fi big fish now. We caught a few good, real good ones. But people need to know that they can uh, catch big fish uh, with with any any rod and any yes. any reel. You need a, a, a specific rods yes, and reels yes. for this for this lake, for this lake especially. You know, lakes like this. Yes. You go with wrong speed, and we're with a lot of these big fish lakes. I'm using 7-Eleven heavy action. Okay. Of course, I use heavy action with this, even with the spinnerbait. But medium heavy, 7-6, seven, 7-Eleven seven, is probably the best. Okay. It's probably the best for this, and this is Odom spinnerbait. Yes. And um, for sure you need heavy rods because these fish are in the brush. You know, that fish was up in the trees and, and, and whoa, you had to drag them yes. out, you know. We are fishing with spinnerbaits, but uh, we, we, it's not possible to use a, a regular spinnerbait here. Because, no. Because uh, regularly... You can the, use regular spinnerbaits, but if you want the well, big fish... A, a, a regular spinnerbait rod, I, I'm oh. talking about the rod because uh, normally the, the rods are 7, 8, uh, excuse me, uh, six, six, eight, eight, six, eight. Uh, uh, maybe seven medium yeah. heavy rods. But with this big spinner weight, everything changed. Everything and, and changed. The, the big fish, the big brush, everything changed. That's right. That's so right. For, for that reason, we turned the, the rod to a, a bigger rod, a, a more a powerful rod. Yes, and yes. And it's just like the rod that I'm using. This is, this is a new lose heavy action. The team, team lose, team lose. Custom yeah, pro. yeah, and uh, it's a heavy action rod with a fast tip, so that I can throw the spinner baits. Yes. But I use it for flipping as well, and I'm using the lose reels. Yes. Uh, the people, the people that lose, they build the rods specifically for the people who fish a lot. You yes. Know? So, so this is this is the best I can find for sure. Yes, for sure. Si en este caso, como comentamos, pues tienes que, que hacer un, un upgrade, por así decirlo, o sea, subirle la, la, todo, la línea, el carrete, la caña, a lo que regularmente estamos acostumbrados a usar con este tipo de señalos. Como ya lo vieron, son animales muy grandes, muy fuertes, que están metidas en esta cobertura. Entonces no podemos andar pescando con juguetitos, con cañas ligeritas, ni líneas así tan, tan, tan delgadas. Por, fue por, eso, por eso fue que, que optamos por cambiar el equipo. Por ejemplo, Steve está usando la, la, el nuevo, la nueva línea de cañas de Lewis, que es la, la Team Lewis Custom Pro. En, en, él acostumbra usar cañas muy largas, en este caso está usando una 711 y este con un carrete con un este super duty también de la marca Luz y está usando floro de 25 libras yo estoy usando en este caso la caña que regularmente acostumbro usar para la reloj Carolina que es de la serie Edgar Telle Signature Series la, el modelo Carolina Rick que es una caña 7 pies y medio 7 pies 6 pulgadas con es medium heavy con la punta este fast y esto me, yo lo estoy usando así porque me va a ayudar a poder lanzar mejor mi spinnerbait tener una, una mejor este, palanca al momento que pueda agarrar un animal grande ahí entre, las, entre la cobertura y estoy usando, yo no me quise arriesgar, yo estoy usando línea trenzada de 50 libras pero ahorita estoy viendo una diferencia en capturas por parte de Steve si veo que no, que no mejora esto voy a tener que cambiar a la misma caña con el mismo carrete pero con línea de fluorocarbono entonces vamos a ver qué pasa ahorita vamos tenemos escasos minutos aquí pescando y ya van algunas capturas entonces ya vieron hay que hay que usar el equipo adecuado para las condiciones que estamos pescando entonces hay que en este caso como les mencioné subirle un poquito al, al, al equipo hacer un equipo más rudo para no tener problemas y no tener este malas noticias de que perdiste la captura de tu vida por, por no traer el equipo adecuado vamos a seguir pescando Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I can't see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In the yeah, sunlight, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, another so good one. Good one. <laughs> oh man! 
Boy, these fish have power. Look at that fish. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> no. Man, this lake is it's awesome. awesome. It's the best lake in the world. I guarantee you no, there's not a see. better lake in this world than Camadero. Yeah. And you can't you can't the Ron Speed Jr. has got the best water ever. Yes. You know, one thing good about Ron? Yes. Like Denny Breyer will be here next. He will come and find fish and help all the people find the fish and me and Terry Odom. And uh, people like yourself, when you come down next time, yes. you can help find the fish. And so there's always plenty of big fish for everyone. Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's it. The, oh. That's what you say, that what make, uh, Ron makes and no, no any lot in the, in the no. country makes. No. They uh, bring the, the, the people that know where the fish are, right. like you, like Terry, like yeah. Danny Brower. They find the fish and they bring the customers to the spot. Yeah. And, and that's a, a great advantage for yeah. the customers because now they just take, need to, to come with the, with the fish and stuff. And well, where are the big ones? <laughs> well, we'll show you where the big yeah, ones are. Yeah, that's it. How good is the fishing? No, ah, no that's awesome. Huh? That's is, awesome. That, is it as good as I told yeah. you? Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> you say that. You say that. <laughs> yes. It's awesome. It's the best lake in the world. Comodero. If you want big fish and you want a lot of fish, come to Comodero with Ron Speed Jr. Adventures. It's awesome. The wire on this spinnerbait, there's no spinnerbaits made that's got this wire on it. This is the stoutest, stoutest wire that there is, is the, on that one ounce spinnerbait right there. They are stout. <laughs> Strong suckers, man. You gonna give me a chance to catch a big one? Yeah, baby! Ooh. Where is it? Oh, come on. I don't know. She don't want to come up yet. Oh, she's head shaking. Oh, God, God. Good, good. <laughs> no! Oh, man. Oh, oh, she broke my spinnerbait. Oh, oh. she took my spinnerbait. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't lift her in the boat, huh? <laughs> no. The fish is too strong. <laughs> that, oh man. Another good fish. <laughs> Another good fish. You know, that was my mistake. Trying to lift the fish in the boat, I should have just let her play on the side because I just retied. And that's important, retie all the time because we're fishing in the brush all the time. But. I should have, I should have let the boat, let the fish play here beside the boat, but no, no, lift it high. <laughs> That's no bueno. You, uh, usually, all of the guides here, they have nets, so they'll net the fish for you. But today, doing the show, no problem. No problem. Hey, we have fun. <laughs> okay, I turn, give you the point. Give you the big shot. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're gonna shoot the side, and then shoot outside, and then parallel. Okay. 
Go. Oh! Yo! There he is. He hit it as soon as he hit the water. He was waiting for it. He was waiting for it. <laughs> That's a good one. He <laughs> was waiting for the for the spearbait. Waiting. Caught it in his mouth. It's like a <laughs> it's like a receiver in football. <laughs> I apenas me, me dijo Steve que tirara a esa a esa zona y así como así como tocó el agua, luego luego atacó el el spinnerbait en la superficie. Digo como que ya Digo, por, la, por el tipo de, de, de zona que estamos pescando, este, ahorita está el aire corriendo en esta dirección, entonces las lobinas se, se estacionan ahí, eh, ya sea pegada a las ramas o en los árboles hundidos, están en la superficie, en, en, en las copas de los árboles, esperando toda la comida que, que viene con el aire. Como ya lo hemos mencionado en otros programas, este, las sardinas o las tilapias, es muy raro que naden en contra de la corriente, entonces esa es la razón por la que Buscamos dónde rebota el aire, dónde pega el, el aire y ahí es donde están los bienes esperando que venga la comida. Entonces, otro buen dato para cuando pesques con, con spinnerbait, donde pega, el, donde revienta la ola, es una excelente zona para este señor. Friends, the spinnerbait that we're using is, you can see, it's a big spinnerbait. It's an Oldham, Oldham one-ounce spinnerbait. And it's got the gold blades. Those are all gold-plated. And uh, this is the best one-ounce spinnerbait in the world. In fact, it's the only spinnerbait that I fish, the one-ounce. Of course, you can use three-quarter, other different spinnerbaits, the, the smaller ones. But this is my favorite for sure. And for this lake, this is the deal. Uh, I've also got it trailed with the, that's the new Rage Tail Swimmer. You can see it on the back of it. What we do is we just, right now we got chartreuse and white, which is a great color, but we're actually tipping the tail of the Rage Swimmer with chartreuse. And uh, these, these spinner baits and the blades are made out of the best material in the world, heaviest wire that you can get to handle these big fish. Uh, so, and one of the keys to catching a lot of fish and big fish, especially with spinner baits, is too many times we reel too fast. Often, you want to reel slow. Let this bait go down there, let it get to the bottom, then move it across the bottom slowly. Because oftentimes that's where those biggest fish are. So, you need to check it out. Get you the one ounce spinner bait from Oldham's, from Oldham Lures, and come to Comodero with Ron Speed Adventures and hold on to your rod because they'll sure jerk the thing out of your hand. Get you some heavy line, heavy rods, and come down here and have the time of your life. No! Boy, she struck me right at the boat. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> Another beautiful fish. Oh. Edgar? Yes. What do you think? A good spinnerbait show? I yes. mean, good spinnerbait fishing, yes. huh? With, 
this is a, a great, great leg for, for spinner bait. But you need to have the, the right spinner bait for this situation. That's right. Yes, and we have it. We got a, a lot of big fish today. That's right. And we have a great time and the, and the show and, and well, just uh, need to invite the people to come yes, to Ron for Speed sure. Junior. For sure, come to Ron Speed Junior Adventures. Come to Comandero. If you want the big fish, he's got a lot of lakes, a lot of good lakes. El Salto, Picacho, this lake. But this lake for big fish, I think this is one of the premier lakes, and I think it is the premier lake in the world for catching big fish. Many big fish. Many? Yes. yes. <laughs> Not just one, many. Okay, but we finished the show for this, for the first show now. Okay. But we will still fishing for make an, a, another show. What do you think? You want to go flipping? Oh, that's right. Okay, you like to flip? We're going to show you some good flipping. Bueno, ya terminamos, pero... Este, les prometemos más pescados de aquí de la presa Comedero junto con Steve Parks pero ahora vamos a usar otra técnica diferente que es la técnica que, nos, que más nos gusta que es la de flipear los palos así que quédense pendientes de este canal que se llama Vámonos de Pesca <música>